it's okay. Tom, it's finally here. How's it feel to have it finally open and things happening? Well, we're still a little bit apprehensive. You know, although there's a year, if not more, of planning that went involved, you just hope that everything comes out the way that you want it to come out. You hope that all the planning, all the scientific talks, everybody is excited to talk about biomedical engineering over the next couple of days. What are the highlights in the next couple of days going to be? So I think one of our biggest highlights is for the first time ever we will have a governor who will kick off the meeting so the governor of Connecticut will be here tomorrow morning to kick off the meeting and I, I hope he will declare something about biomedical engineering in the state of Connecticut the, the proclamation of this being the biomedical engineering week in the state of Connecticut and then of course we get into a lot of wonderful distinguished talks a lot of panel discussions I think other highlights of the meeting is we have uh, a lot of clinician participation, a lot of industry participation, a lot of scientists, engineers, to really come up with the best ideas to improve medicine, improve patient uh, treatment. Terrific. What will they be doing for fun? So fun, we have, I don't know if you can scan over there, but we have the Connecticut Science Center on uh, Friday night to further stimulate everybody to think about science and education and why we got in this field in the first place. But that's uh, certainly a highlight, of course, tonight's welcoming reception. It'll definitely be a fun, educational couple of next days. And who worked with you on putting this together? So definitely, right? So I think also another first is maybe a wife-husband team for the Biomedical Engineering Conference. So the person behind me is uh, Karen Haberstroh, who happens to be my wife. Certainly uh, Don Peterson, who's from the University of Connecticut, helped out a lot putting the conference together. The staff support, like Ed Schilling and Debbie Tucker, and uh, just, you know, countless number of people that have really helped make this event happen. Maybe also be about sponsors. Sponsors, definitely. Uh, we like to thank all of our industry sponsors like Covidian, Boston Scientific, Medtronic, uh, the International Journal of Nanomedicine, which I happen to, to edit. So all of the, the financial sponsors for this conference have just been outstanding. Certainly Brown University and the University of Connecticut as well for being the host universities of this conference. Speaking of UConn, CMEs, Right, so the, the, the unique feature of this meeting is we now have continuing medical education credits at this conference. So hopefully this will set a trend for future years. Clinicians have to take CMEs a certain number per year. So we hope that they come to BMES this year and future years to satisfy their CME requirements and to get motivated about attending BMES.